One of the fundamental algorithms for traversing graphs is known as depth first search or DFS. If I have some graph that's a collection of a bunch of nodes that are connected with edges, if I have some starting point, DFS will start a traversal at the starting point and then it'll traverse down a given path as far as it possibly can before returning, traversing down another path, returning, traversing down another path, so on and so forth. So unlike breadth first search or BFS, which was exploring nodes in layers away from the starting point, DFS explores down as deep as it can down a single specific path before returning and going down other paths. So the algorithm is here. Basically, it's essentially identical to BFS, to breadth first search, with one key exception. In breadth first search, we kept track of the nodes that we have to explore using a queue versus in depth first search, we use a stack. It turns out that this single change takes us from BFS to DFS. So here's an example graph and let's perform a depth first search starting at node A. So the algorithm as follows. First, we add our starting node to a stack. I'll be drawing my stack over here and then I'll be erasing elements as I pop them off the stack. So, uh, so I'll say A gets added to my stack. Let's say the stack starts here. A has been added. While the stack is not empty, pop the current node from the stack. So I pop the current node from the stack. My current node is A. If my current node has not been visited, nope, I've never visited this, mark it as visited. Then for each of its outgoing edges, if its outgoing neighbor has not been visited, add it to the stack. So A has one edge, that neighbor is B. B has not been visited, so I add it to the top of my stack. While the stack is not empty, nope, not empty, pop the current node from the top of the stack. So I pop B off the top of my stack. B is my current node. If my current node has not been visited, mark it as visited, okay. For each edge coming out of my current node, so B has two edges, D and E, I'm going to break ties using alphabetical order. So I will say D would be visited before E, but you can break ties however you need, or not visited before, but I would say I'm gonna iterate over D before I iterate over E. But yeah, as long as you're consistent, anything's fine. So first I'm gonna look at D. So if D has not been visited, nope, it hasn't, add it to the stack, okay? If E has not been visited, no, it hasn't, add it to the stack, okay? Now, while the stack is not empty, no, it's not empty, pop the top one off of the stack, that's my current, so E is cur. If cur has not been visited, it has not, mark it as visited, okay? For all of its edges that are coming out of cur, well, E has no outgoing edges, so there's no edges to iterate over. Nothing happens here, okay? While the stack is not empty, it's not empty. Pop the next item off, that's D. So my current node is D. If the current node has not been visited, nope, it hasn't, mark it as visited, okay? For all edges coming out of my current node, well, there's one edge coming out of my current node, D to C. If that neighbor has not been visited, it has not, add it to the stack, okay? And now I'm done with this iteration of the loop. While the stack is not empty, it's not empty. I pop off the next item, which is C. So C is my current element. If the current element has not been visited, it has not. Mark it as visited, okay? For all edges coming out of my current node, well, C has one outgoing edge to E. So I'm looking at this edge right now. If the target, so if the neighbor has not been visited, this is false, E has been visited. So I don't do this, I do nothing. Okay, this iteration of the loop is done. Next iteration, while the stack is not empty, oh, my stack's empty, looks like I'm done. 